Today's best music. Magic 89.9. So I was on Instagram over the week. And remember when we were talking about late twins last week? Um, yeah. Nor- the yeah, dancers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the dancers. So a lot of my feed, a lot of art stuff was popping up. And... And I'm not sure if you guys follow artists on IG as well, but there's some pretty amazing things that can happen with social media. And if you're an artist, really creative stuff, like people who can make amazing designs with Rubik's Cube. Have you seen yeah, that? I saw that. <laughs> um, there's that guy, see Cebu. What's his name? The, the, the guy from Africa uh, where he can paint like portraits upside down. He oh, paints, yeah. Yeah, he uses whatever... Uh, I don't know, like a toaster or a microwave or shoes to make these amazing, amazing stuff. I mean, it can really wow you. And this is one of those beautiful things about social media is that I'm exposed to such talent, unique, unique talent that I would never otherwise know about because why would I look up how to make uh, an upside down photo of the rock using rock? Um, And then I sat there and I said, you know what? Even though art is subjective, I must say, Thanks to Instagram, I think I'm seeing guys who are even better than Da Vinci and Michelangelo. Like, I think those guys get a lot of credit for their work of their time, right? I think yeah. they get a lot of credit. Like, oh my God, Sistine Chow. Like, a five-year-old can do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. to do that. These guys get a lot of credit for some amazing historical art. But let's be real, man. That stuff, like, Mona Lisa, that can't touch Rubik's Cube guy. Like Rubik's Cube that crushed. Oh my god, Rubik's I, Cube I, yeah. guy I've seen is Rubik's crazy. Cube guy. Yeah. Can I see? What's his name? Rubik's I Cube know. guy is I don't crazy. Know is guy, but it's I saw a guy take I some nails, see. nails, a pajo, and he was in a pajo near yung wall, and then he got dental floss, and he started like... Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that was amazing. That is oh my, and I sit there and I'm like, okay, this is better than Da Vinci. Yeah. This is better than Da Vinci. Yeah. It's better than Michelangelo. This is better than all the other Ninja Turtles. This is, <laughs> is going to be amazing. But yeah. you'll never get the credit that those guys get because his history, of course, they, they, it, it celebrates them at that capacity. But I'm, I, I know I know there are people right now their blood is boiling. Da Vinci. Honestly, I think I think I think art wise, yes. But I think mathematics and discovery wise, sure, I think that Da Vinci right, still right, you're there. right. They they incorporated certain sciences and, and all of that stuff to that. But yeah, I am talking about art. And yeah. art wise, I agree. They're so are they overrated or they were just rated perfectly for their time? I consider it well social media, no, na, so hindi oh, na, no, like, like, for nothing. It's a marketing <laughs> thing. Like when you look at Van Gogh, or if you look at um, who's the Spaniard, uh, the, the famous Spaniard, when I get it, just uh, my name. Um, who's the famous Spaniard uh, artist? Dora, uh, architect guy. Oh, no. uh, throw a name out. Uh, see, uh, uh, see, church, the big church guy. Oh my God, I can't believe Dali. It. No, um, well, Dolly's one, but the, yeah, Salvador Dolly, no? no, Picasso, no. Picasso, okay, Picasso, Picasso, right? oh, Spanish, right? Italian, okay. one of, one of yeah, those. Spanish, Spanish, okay. So, you look at Picasso, you look at Van Gogh, and I sit there and I'm like, His face looks deformed, <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not, that's not even that good, and then I see. But it's a style. I see right. dental floss and dental Bacopi floss guy. Does perfection, perfection, and I'm like, he's better. Than that. And how did yeah. he discover that he yeah, could exactly do that? the creativity started? Dun palang dun sa I can do this with Paco and dental mm-hmm. floss. What more you you actually make the art? Yeah, right. And then it's this guy with no ear. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All the Van Gogh stands are like, we're coming for you. Yeah, the Antons are coming. The, the, the moon in the background's all effed up. Like, who cares? <laughs> I think it's because we can reference to them eh, when you draw something. A lot of artists now, kanyari, even kapag Ireland canvas, you can say, oh, that's very Picasso or oh, that's mm. very, you know. I think that's why they're a reference to. Pero I, I don't think they're the best now. Still. Because, because, but, right. That's like yeah. saying... I think we could do this with sports, though, too, right? Yeah, that's like comparing Will Chamberlain to LeBron James. LeBron, yeah, that's like comparing the 100 points. Like, 
Whoa, yeah, he had it's overrated. It's overrated. And that's why nobody ever really says Chamberlain is top five player of all nope. time. No matter the, even though the stats yeah. say he is. They don't because they take in the level of competition uh, yeah. uh, uh, within his era and all of that. So what I'm saying... But that's quantifiable, eh, diba? Like sports, you can measure number of points, some person. But yeah, sport, like... It's not quantifiable. Subjective. Well, no, it is subjective because we're ranking the players and we're not ranking them based on stats. If we were ranking them... We kind them, of are. No, we're not because then he would be number one. Will Chamberlain Bill Russell. Be Bill Russell would be number all time one. If we only thought about the stats. Yeah, not the reason only. Why, the reason why... Well, that's the quantifiable part. After that, the part of, well, he lived, he you know played in a different time. Yeah. Competition wasn't as stiff. That's all subjective. But there are absolutely no numbers in art. Like number of paintings sold. Paano, diba? Wala right. silang that, stats at all. Right. And that's why I started the entire monologue with, even though art is subjective, and we can't say that I'm right or I'm wrong, and there's going to be a lot of people who, who think I'm wrong in this, I am more wowed by the different style of creativity that I see on Instagram than I see at the Louvre. Yeah. Oof. I agree. Oof. I saw this other one then. Um, <laughs> parang ganun din. Parang si Dental Floss. What he, what he, he does is he gets parang fabric and then he irons it in the air and then the fabric just stands up on its own. I'm like, how do you do that? Oh, I, I remember the barong mo. Which, which barong? Dora's <laughs> barong? Dora, what is this you sent us? Oh my, Dora, what is this Yeah, that happened live. It happened live. Oh you sent me a Facebook link. Wait, so Dora sent us a link. I'll post it. Sige, just I thought so it was edited. On, on, on Facebook can can relate. But Medro, wow. Ah, oh my God. Yeah, no, I can see it now. That guy's, okay. No, he's just, my side lang yan. That's just, oh, my side. Yeah. 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 That's, I thought it was something amazing. <laughs> the crazy guy who went behind a priest. Uh, <laughs> we got to take a break. Yeah, you do? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Break. When we come back, we'll even be more offensive. <laughs> and, yeah, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Taking a break. Yeah, hold on. I'm just trying to read all of the nasty comments that we've sent regarding people saying Da Vinci isn't as good. That's Dora's oh. link, lol. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not me, by the way. Anybody else out there who's uh, feels bad. 